Hey friends, welcome to class. For today's strength building practice, all you'll need is a pair of socks. I like to use thick socks and a pair of yoga blocks, preferably cork shape because they provide that stability that we're gonna need. We're gonna be sliding around and option to use a mat because we're gonna be working and warming our wrists to begin. So for today's practice, Go ahead and start off in your tabletop position and take a couple of circles over the wrist. Do whatever you need to warm up your wrist. So just know that you can use a bit of movement from your hips. Be animalistic in your nature. You could even flip the palm so that the fingers are pointing towards you and just sway side to side. Now that the wrists are nice and warmed up, let's go get started. So you wanna get yourself situated in an area where you have a nice slippery floor. Place your blocks at the highest setting. And we're gonna start off on our shins to begin into this low lasana lifts. So take an inhale to prepare. On your exhale, I want you to drive down through your arms, protract through the shoulders, lift the knees up towards the collarbones, and then lower the legs down. Exhale to bring the knees up. Inhale to lower down. Exhale, drive it up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, drive it up. Inhale takes you to lower. Five more times. Exhale. Bring it up. Keep protracting through the shoulders. We've got three, two, on one. Go ahead and lower down and roll the wrists. Feel free to take breaks in between. Go ahead and pause the video if you wish. But this is a great way to complement our yoga practice and any kind of physical practice. Since we're building a lot of compression and core strength. All right, here we go for round two. Take an inhale to prepare. On your exhale, drive for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower down your knees. Roll off the wrists, good job. I know that's not easy. Maybe catch up with your breath. Stay connected. From here, we're gonna take two low lasana holds. So take an inhale to prepare. On your exhale, drive the knees up high towards the collarbones. You could either lift the feet up or go on to the tops of the feet. Hold it here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one. Lower the knees down. Again, roll the shoulders back. Here we go for round two. Take an inhale. On your exhale, knees come up high towards the collarbones. Lower your hips down. Option to float the feet. We're here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one. Great job. That's a cooker. Roll your shoulders back. Maybe you roll the wrists out a little bit. And now we're gonna add a little bit of a progression. So we're gonna move from a plank into that lolasana lift. 
Place your blocks directly underneath your shoulders and walk your feet and find your plank pose. I want you to find this introverted plank where your shoulders are trying to separate from one another, getting into that shoulder protraction. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, slide your feet, drive the knees towards the chest, then come back to plank. Exhale, drive it up. Inhale takes you into plank. Three more times, just like this. Exhale, drive. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, drive. Inhale, back to plank. One more. Exhale, drive. Take it back to plank. Lower your knees down onto the earth. You could either sit on your heels or sit on your shins, whatever works best for you. Take a moment to recenter and recalibrate. This stuff isn't easy, but the fact that you're here, it's amazing. I'm proud of you. <laughs> so we're gonna take five more rounds of that plank to low lasana lifts. I find it easier to come onto the tops of my feet as opposed to tucking the feet in, but Whatever is your preference, go ahead and do so. Starting out from that introverted plank, then exhaling, the knees drive up to the collarbones. Take another inhale to return to plank. Come back into lolasana. We're here for three, two, stay strong. On one, lower the knees down. Shake it out. Now come up onto your feet. Again, the blocks are gonna be directly underneath your shoulders. So adjust the blocks as needed. And we're gonna take some pike slides. Now this exercise is really great for building up compression, especially when you're working in handstands or pressing your handstands. This is a great little exercise to help you. We're gonna take five reps to begin from plank. On your exhale, use your core to drag the feet in between the blocks. And depending how slippery your socks are, just walk your feet back into that plank. Exhale, drive, use your core. Walk it back three more times. Exhale, drive. Walk it back. Exhale, come up, pike. Walk it back. Exhale. One more time, just like that, from plank. Exhale, pike it up. And take a break. You can come back onto your shins if you wish and just roll the shoulders out. We really wanna think about the core sucking all that energy in to pull. And less about the knees or the legs doing the work for us. Last round here. From plank, exhale, pike it up, use your core. Return to plank four more times. Nice work. Three more times. Three. Use your core to pull, pull, pull. And one. Awesome work. So for the next round, you have two options. You could either do this on your knees. You could even pad your knees with the mat if you wish. But we're gonna take some negatives. Working the negatives or slowing the descent is going to help us build strength in all of our practices that require some upper body weight bearing. So again, we're gonna take this from a high plank and do five chaturanga push-ups. Again, you could come on to your knees and push up like that, totally okay. Just go for whatever works best for you. This is your practice to modify or intensify as needed. Take an inhale to prepare. On your exhale, lower. Keep your gaze down and forward. 
Take an inhale. Exhale, lower. For three, four, five. Take a moment. Again, you could always take as much time as you need in between these reps. Whew, I don't know about you, but I am sweating like crazy. And this is really, really great for, again, building that resistance training to complement our practice. So this is kind of like socks and blocks, but with a yoga experience. Whenever you're ready, set yourself up in your position. Keep your gaze down and forward. Exhale, lower. Keep your glutes engaged for four, three, two, on one. Great job. Take a moment to slide your wrists or your palms underneath your feet. Just give your wrists a nice little stretch. You can keep your legs bent here while sending your hips up towards the sky. Take as much time as you need to release your wrists. As always, thank you so much for joining me in this strength practice. It is a great practice to build that strength and compression in your practice or whether you're working on handstands or press handstands, know that you could always return to this strength circuit to find that awareness, build that strength and build that compression. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe to this page. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Have a wonderful day wherever in the world you may be.